The following program will contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Hey, how you doing? I'm Flash Lowlight. And I'm Nick Nikon. And, and we, we are, are the Puppet Razzi. If you are looking for great entertainment for your special event, then Puppet Razzi is the most amazing show that you will ever encounter in your life. Yeah, yeah, we are an adult puppeteer show that is sure to bring down the house. Your house. With great humor, banter, jokes, and interviews with your very special guests. And hardcore reporting of your event that will mystify you, surprise you, and even make you roll in the aisles. Let our professional sound, lighting, staging, and puppeteering skills amaze you and your clientele with the absolute best entertainment that you deserve. For more information on booking Puppet Razzi or to see a video demo of our show, please go to facebook.com forward slash Puppet Razzi or email us directly at puppetrotzi at hotmail.com. That's puppetrotzi at hotmail.com. Hey, that was pretty good there, buddy. I, yeah, I yeah. was happy with that. Hey, let's go for a beer or something uh, to celebrate. Well, maybe yeah. some mild mint tea. Okay, all right. I need beautiful. to calm down a little. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Welcome to the Del Morgato Show right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact Del Live by telephone, dial 905-725-1907. Toll free in North America, 1-866-905-REAL. That's 1-866-905-7325. Worldwide, 1-866-905-7325. 5477. Email Dell Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. And now, your host of the Del Morgado Show, Mr. Del Morgado. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a late starting show, but we made it. We're here. We're good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Del Morgado Show. I'm your host, Del Morgado, and give it up for the man behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs> the man Why do you say that? <laughs> it's the behind man, the glass. Behind the glass, the 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 man, uh, and it's a thick the, the inch man, glass. The legend, the myth, right. the one, the only, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Gary Labar. And by the way, yes, you have a VIP listener. Very nice, very immense. That means, yes. kids, <laughs> that someone actually is paying to listen to him. Hey, that's bad. Hey, yeah. why you gotta be like that? I'm man? just telling them. If they're paying, that's because they like me, man. What's wrong? Right. With you? <laughs> why you gotta make them feel bad about their decision? I don't know. That's not cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin, I would like to send out a special thanks to my guests last week, Tony Morgado and Jason Morgado. Um, Love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's their uh, famous line there. I'm sure that my cousin Jay would now say bonjour to everybody at home. Yeah. Bonjour, so bonjour. everyone. Uh, but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have some intriguing guests here tonight. <laughs> Very intriguing. <laughs> That's right. And uh, for those of you that heard my 24th show, which was quite a while back. That Salute! Was actually, hey! Not yet, not yet. We're going to drink in a while, you bastards. Slow down. <laughs> it was actually the October 15th show. And that was leading up to a show called Unplugged Expo. Correct. Which we will be discussing in great depth this evening, hopefully, about Unplugged Expo 3. 
beautiful. We should have like a sound effect. I had such them. a riot there last year. Oh, I have it was to be amazing. In. Amazing. Right. Well, we got the two men here who are in charge of Unplugged Expo. It's pretty safe to say. Nod your heads. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First off, ladies and gentlemen, on my left, weighing in at a solid 802 pounds. <laughs> really? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Coming from Sicily. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. Around there. Or you're uh, born. A long <laughs> time ago, yeah. <laughs> In a galaxy not far, recently. far <laughs> Not quite yeah. recently yeah. enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Corrado Ritza. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> that is the lamest applause hey, I've ever come heard. Oh, I gotta be I like know. that, man. <laughs> and on the right corner, <laughs> weighing in at a solid 122. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes both ends <laughs> of the spectrum, right? It's not even... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> born in like, wow. you were born in the Philippines. That is, is correct. That, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Manila, ladies, Philippines. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the man, the legend, the myth. You two are the man, the legend, the myth. Yeah, right. yeah. Wow. yeah. Mister <laughs> James Bay. <laughs> thank you, Gary. How's that? Thank you, Gary. <laughs> I'm the one who's doing the applause. <laughs> No, but I gotta thank Gary first. Why? Oh, Why well, I gotta thank no, him for thank it? Thank you, James. <laughs> no, you can you can thank him. It's well, his show. Oh, all right, yeah. there we go. Well, thank well you, Del. Thank right you before we go any further, let we're gonna have we have some uh, wine here, yeah. some very tasty strawberry wine. <laughs> and I have vodka mix. And he's got oh, mixed he's got with vodka. some strawberry vodka, so yeah. we probably will lose Gary after the first commercial. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Salud. Salud. Hey, Salud. Salud. take a nice Salud. drink. Salud. Uh, clink, clink. <laughs> Here we go. This is like become a custom on my show. I'll let you guys drink. Delicious. Uh, delicious. Uh, I have good. to admit that. It's very delicious. <laughs> Thank very you, good. I know. I just spilled some on my... Uh, That's all right. I Nobody do. cares. <laughs> There's right. paper towel over there, too, in right. somewhere. Well, all right. before we continue, actually, we might as well go. Mm-hmm. Unplugged Expo 3, gents. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's Let's the, discuss. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about that because yes. people that are listening right now, they're saying, okay, Unplugged, unplugged. Expo. Is that like musicians coming in with acoustic guitars? Well, let's, let's, what is it? Let, I'm, let I'm doing James the lead I know, first. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Let James and Corrado... Um, I'm Tell us what it's all about. All right, he just blew it, James. He didn't oh, get my lead in for you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was trying to like question the audience, and then you guys say, well, let me tell you what it is. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm right. going to shut his mic Go up. ahead. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Less stress go for ahead, me, guys. you bastards. <laughs> go ahead. Well, no, no. Actually, uh, we do have uh, musicians and, and uh, a few performers at the uh, at Unplugged this year. And actually, for no, since the inception. Yeah, we've, we've yeah, always had... you guys had, had performers. Though. We've always had a performer, yeah. yeah. And, you know, um, actually... James Ronald, he's yeah. uh, he's a three time guest at Unplugged Expo. Right and on. What he does is he covers video game music. Oh, yeah. See, so very nice. you know a little bit of background about Unplugged. Unplugged That's is a cool. geek culture event. There you go. Does anybody even know what that is? No, uh, no. Do tell us, Seriously. James. How about that for a lead in, you prick? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> go so, ahead, James. Uh, tell us what. Tell us what it's all about. Well, I mean, like you know, a lot of people, I guess, don't understand what geek culture would be. Right, so I've heard that term many, many, many times. Really? Yeah, yeah I've okay. heard it a few times. Actually. Well, you know what's catching on then? Yeah. So geek culture is basically anything which geeks or nerds. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, depending on which wor- which terminology you want to use, you know, uh, what they enjoy, right? The, cul- right? the the culture behind. So it can be anything. It can be video games. It can be music. Like you know, it can be it can be anything that someone obsessively, you know, gets obsessed with. Right. right. But then. They kind of they kind of do that thing where you know they're like they just come up to you in the middle of the crowd and say hey have you ever heard of this game and blah 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 and then they mm-hmm. talk your ear off and you're like get the hell away from me <laughs> <laughs> which we've seen many of those types <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah. but you know they 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 love it so much that mm. they you know it becomes part of their culture and that's right. exactly what we're talking about gotcha. we're talking so, about the geek so culture. geek culture would be more of a variety of things as opposed to just being interested in one thing in particular well it's Is interesting right? because you know um, oh, okay Corrado. You mm. you experienced geek culture mm-hmm. when we were at uh, the very first unplugged, yes, right? Yes. So what what do you what 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 would you, what would you have to say about geek culture? I mean, like yes, Corrado, do tell us what would. So, you <laughs> well, I, it, no, it is it is a wide spectrum. I mean, they're into gaming, they're into anime, they're into you know um, uh, cosplay. Mm-hmm. There's so many different music, dancing, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, you know it's it's a wide 
field. So mm-hmm. it's just you know they have a certain taste for certain types of music, yeah. certain types of gaming, and yeah. uh, you know, and that's really what it is. And Pluck covers all that. Awesome. Yeah. I've noticed that in the past mm-hmm. years, you guys have always managed to get a nice variety of what's going on, mm-hmm. and you know, you don't really focus on one. Mind you, last year you kind of focused a bit on the anime aspect, we only because you had the Sailor Moon voice actors in. <laughs> you know what? It, it so it's like you didn't really have a choice. No, but we, no, we, we did have a, a quite a bit of gaming. Uh, yes. You know, yeah. involved, especially with some of the panelists. Yes. Absolutely. You know, um, and they, they spoke about the industry and you know mm-hmm. how how they got involved, and a lot of people were interested in it. So they, awesome. it, it did cover quite a bit. Yeah. Right on. The yeah. the unfortunately the you know the cascading effect happens. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, you you advertise to a certain do- demographic. Right. And then they basically just start pouring in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like that's what happened. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that the you know again geek culture is is so encompassing that everybody in that room yeah. still loved pretty much everything. Yeah. Like, everything that was being offered. So yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely. So yeah. They yeah. loved our booth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But we couldn't know, get them away from our there, booth. There, there we were like was, smacking them away. <laughs> but I, I don't, you probably noticed like I yeah. think it was on Saturday. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. Pretty much the entire first floor dis- like it went cricket. Gone. It just disappeared. It went, it went cricket. Yeah. It was right? like, what, I wish that, I had a cricket that right, sound effect. Isn't that great, great Gary? Like yeah, the whole Gary, play, the Gary whole didn't see anybody on I'm Saturday. I'm what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm, I'm actually uh, doing some social media for you guys right now. Nice. Live. I put out tweets and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Well, yeah, it Something good, I hope you pricked. Yeah. All now, right. I, th- I think Corrado appreciated that because yeah. he got a break. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. oh well, he was I working was his ass off. I was, yeah. you I was were upstairs. Uh, no, I was upstairs working my ass off. Because <laughs> I was doing. You guys didn't stop. I, I was doing, I was doing <laughs> line <laughs> control. Yo. He, he, this, this time he's got to train on the Stairmaster before we start because he's <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> <Very, laughs> got to work well, He's a solid 122 <laughs> pounds. Oh, I'm sure he's <laughs> 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 Again. Thank you, Dell. Thank you. That's You're solid. welcome. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, like, I remember last year you guys were just all over the place. And I remember the end when i was asking you guys for a quick interview you guys were so exhausted it was actually funny i know i remember you trying to grab me a bunch yes. of times and i was like yeah yeah five minutes yeah, 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 ten minutes I well was i wasn't trying like, to grab you like no, trying to grab me well, grab me to for an interview for an interview there you go and let's clarify you know, i like you Corrado, yeah, but not that yeah, much so, easy. so easy. okay give me something uh like have you guys been dating anybody since is there anything new in the horizon here come on talk to me no yeah. you, no you, you know you know what it's been all business right all business yeah, you all know business. that's that's, that's you, know the you gotta thing. say that again james because that sounded pretty cool <laughs> Again. What it's all business. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I like that. <laughs> what about you, How about you Del? Me? Nah. <laughs> you come on. Come on. Look who you're talking to. <laughs> you're all business. Yeah. Too, right? No, I'm not about yeah, the business. Yeah, he's dating porn. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, he's dating porn. How's that, ca- yeah. how's that couch, Del? Oh, the couch is awesome. You found it. Eh? It's finally clean. <laughs> Apparently you guys heard out. that show. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> clean my apartment, buddy. After a long, long time, but it's all good. You guys can come over now. Oh, that's why I have these glasses tonight, so I can improve my little mini bar. There you go. Well, they, they, were, they were buried under all this. Yeah, I, well, you know, they're smaller. I have like smaller martini glasses. I want to get bigger ones. Found, a, found a microwave. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> didn't know I had one. <laughs> but is there anything going on? Like, what's going on? Oh, you yeah. Know, you know, it's just. Work, work, work. Busy, busy, busy trying to organize for the next Unplugged and trying yeah. to make it bigger and better than last year. Nice. I, mean, I heard you guys had a bigger venue, a bigger we, building yep, this time yep. around. Well, uh, I, do you you tell. Know, where, you know, where is it? Uh, you're, you're asking about <laughs> other stuff. Well, yeah. you know, our other projects. Like, oh, uh, Apocalypse, oh 4. Apocalypse 4. Apocalypse 4 yes. has published its second issue, right? Since awesome. the last time you... Uh, Very I nice. I saw and the preview for it, but I didn't... Oh, you, see, you were at the launch. <laughs> yes, right. I was. You were at the launch. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so another trailer. I still want to see that trailer, coming. buddy. <laughs> another trailer is coming. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, actually, this one's going to be in 3D. Nice. So, you know, I've got a, a 3D animator working on it. You right? bastards. But, uh, you know, no, we, we these have guys, These guys got it together, Gary. You keep telling me to get it together. These guys got well, it together. Well, they do, uh, yeah. and because and they're really putting forth entertainment. There you go. This is all entertainment. It, it is. is. It is. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. not. Yeah. It's not. Easy, <laughs> All right. easy. Well, I gotta Uh-oh. be like that, Gary. Yeah, yeah, every Come on time, now, eh? back to oh. the loading dock. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Well, now that we start a little bit later, I don't know when the hell to do the song of the week, there, Gary. <laughs> don't worry about uh, it. Just relax. Don't you worry got about it. Okay. It's very important. <laughs> well, we're gonna be playing the song of the week anyway because uh, I actually got a very special one this week. We might as well get that going. Why not? We'll take a quick break so we can enjoy some more of this wine. Um, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. What break? You talking about breaks? <laughs> yeah. We're going to play the song of the week, and then we're going to have a couple of commercials. Why not? Song of the week. Yeah. Just to take a little break, because you guys kind of rushed to get here, so it's okay, we want to so, uh, relax <laughs> now. All right. Are we going to so, have a quick kind of guess what this is? Um, I don't really know much about this band. All I know is they were in the 80s. and well, they that's were, my time, man. They were very well 70s, known. 80s. Actually, um, I'll play Maybe a Maybe I toured with them. 
I highly doubt it. Or okay. maybe you did. Maybe. Well, they were um, they were a rock band, but they were yeah. like glam rock. Yeah, we were a hair band type of but thing. But you weren't glam. Well, not like... These po- guys had like crazy makeup, like just like weird Like Kiss ass. and stuff? More Poison, uh, C- Cinderella. Around there, uh, yeah. Can you guys take a... Motley Crue, what, what do you no. talk... Okay, so give me but, give me a hint. Well, I'll give you the, I'll give you the uh, line, which is actually... It's on the CD as well, but okay. I might as well play this for you so you can get an idea of... All right. All right, mister, what do you think you're doing? We're not going to take <laughs> it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we ain't going to take How it. How the hell did you get that from that? Twisted uh, <laughs> sister. Holy shit. Those, sh- those uh, are uh, worth the <laughs> same <laughs> video. <laughs> That's that's amazing. Amazing. Like the most, that was the most famous music video at the there time. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I decided because I was playing that song, I did find the video and I found that little segment because that was just priceless. I love that guy. He was from, do you guys remember the movie he was originally from where he said all that crap? Mm, nope. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we should do a contest. Then. Was that the n- Salud! Hey! There we go. Let's get a little quick hey, drink there. Right. Right. That's why we're going to take a little break so we can enjoy some more of this uh, awesome wine. <laughs> Very good. Mm. You guys look a little Yummy. pissed off. You all right, man? Well, why You're not that? pissed off, are you? No, no, no. Are you not, hungry? No, no. Are you they're hungry? not pissed. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> huh? Why no. do you think they're pissed? Well, because, <laughs> I don't know, they look a little pissed off. Wow. That's, that's a regular look. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That's the way Corrado always looks. So <laughs> He looks mean. Actually, He's you know muscle, what? I got right? I got especially something for you, Corrado, there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't forget. Uh, <laughs> hey! Right, now, I'm not, see, now I'm smiling. He knows that sound. Yeah. I can't believe you got that from that little two-second <laughs> little on, man. audio. Come on, man. I was That's in a awesome. rock band, a major one in the Did you 80s. hang out with, Ki- with no, Twisted Sister? No, no, I never met them. No? Were you no. a fan of Twisted Sister? Yeah, I liked them. You guys like Twisted Sister? No, I, I, I really only heard one song. Yeah. Uh, right? so, well, I mean, they were pretty much uh, I Want to Rock. They yeah, were they, two, were they were one like or two, two hit, hit wonder. Yeah, two, yeah, hit, two hit wonder. Yeah. I think that's, that's exactly yeah. what they were. But they made Pretty millions. Much. They made yeah. millions. That's all they needed, right? But yeah. the guy uh, that does that voice, he was from the movie Animal House. Yeah, I remember that. All right, there you go. So he was the uh, he 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 was the, the guard or the yeah, uh, the, the, the <laughs> what was that? Not the guard. The, I forget the name of the, uh, the character. Army ROTC. Yeah, was gonna the be, ROTC right? kind yeah. of person on the horse and everything. Yes. Yes. What are you gonna do with your life? Yeah, yeah. A pledge pin. I'll let him do it because yeah, that's, that's actually you do it. I decided to put it together with the song of the week, so you guys can enjoy that right. little scene along with the song of the week, which is Gary just gave it to us. We're not gonna take it. You're listening to Twisted Sister, and we're not gonna take it on the Del Morgado Show. On Ooh. oh, you spill it again. <laughs> Sorry, what, what are we listening to? Yeah, Spilly drinker. <laughs> yeah. The Del Morgado Show on Reality Radio <laughs> 101. There we go. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Track two, Gary. <laughs> okay, you got song of the week uh, number one four. and two. You got number four here though. How do you, what do you mean? I got song, song of the week, of the week track four. Yeah, That's what song you have. of the week number two. Uh, I got dude, you two didn't have that. So what track am I going to? Number two. I knew that wasn't the song right away. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just played it from the computer. <laughs> dude, listen, you're gonna have yeah. to get improve your writing skills. You're killing skills. me, Gary. All right, are right, you ready? Announce we it. We got again. a problem. All right, we <laughs> we got Twisted Sister, and we're not gonna take it. You're listening to the Del Morgado Show on. Reality Radio, Radio 101. 101. <laughs> All right, mister, what do you think you're doing? You call this a room? This is a pigsty. I want you to straighten up this area now. You are a disgusting slob. Stand up straight. Tuck in that shirt. Adjust that belt buckle. Tie those shoes. Twisted sister. What is that? Wipe that smile off your face. Do you understand? What is that? A twisted sister pin on your uniform? What kind of a man are you? You're worthless and weak. You do nothing. You are nothing. You sit in here all day and play that sick, repulsive, electric twanger. I carried an M16 and you, you carry that, that, that guitar. Who are you? Where do you come from? Are you listening to me? What do you want to do with your life? I want to rock.
Put the special into your special event. With our finger on the pulse of today's event scene, we provide for all your entertainment needs. Amuse and amaze with look-alike performers, illusionists, and interactive entertainment. Fill the air with music, classic rock, Latin, and disco. Thrill your guests with tarot and psychic readings. And treat the kids with children's entertainers, face painting, inflatables, and more. When your reputation is on the stage, let our reputation for excellence earn you a standing ovation. For more information, visit aratoevents.com. At Lanzacor Property Maintenance, we do it all. From spring cleanups to fertilization, eaves trowel cleaning, and weekly lawn maintenance, you can be sure to trust Lanzacor. Mention that you heard this ad on the Del Mar Gatto Show on Reality Radio 101 and receive 10% off any of Lanzacor's professional property maintenance services. Remember, at Lanzacor, we do it all from snow plowing to sod placement, power washing to debris removal, and a whole lot more. And with our senior citizens discount, we take 10% off of your bill. For your free estimate, please call Lanzacor Property Maintenance at 416-414-8020. That's 416-414-8020. Call today and be weed-free and happier tomorrow. The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome back to the Del Morgado Show right here. Reality Radio 101. To contact Del Live by telephone. Dial 905-725-1907. Toll free in North America. 1-866-905-7325. Email Dell Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. And now back to the Benny Hill Show, starring Del Morgado. Shit, Gary, I wish I could do Benny Hill. <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot like that? Uh, you gotta do it. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bit too uh, much Austin. Yeah, a bit too much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Del Morgado Show, not the Benny Hill Show. Although I wish sometimes it feels like the what, Benny Hill what Show What were you sometimes. telling me during that break? The headsets, like, they're high as hell. What are you, you talking about? Turn you mean, them down. You like, mean the volume? Yeah, the volume, yeah. For like, everybody? I know for me it's really Oh, hold really on. Bad. All right, let me do yes, it. Okay, hold please. on. Slightly. slightly. Yes. All right, all right. Let's yeah. go down all right. and let's go down. And, uh, let's go yeah, down. Okay. Oh, and let's better. go down. My ears aren't bleeding and anymore. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, how's that, guys? Better? That's, that's, that's way better. Yeah, thank you, good. thank you. 100%. Well, when the song was playing, my ears were like, you know, yeah, we're not going to take it, but my ears were like not taking it. All right, yeah. You know, it's just a button, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. got to turn the button. still let me Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've got Mr. James Bade here, and we've also got Corrado Ritza. And, uh, Welcome back, guys. I'm glad you, you guys are you. back on the show. Glad to be back. By the way, Dell, do oh. you know? You know, Toronto is one of the greatest cities in the world. It really is. And a lot uh -huh. of people that live here think, no, it's not because they live here. Right. But do you know what's going on September 27th and 28th at the <laughs> Chestnut Conference Center? <laughs> I have you know no that? idea, Gary. What's oh, going on? God, man. You, you have to tell me, Listen, buddy. This is a weekend of awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding either. This is called, you know, a weekend of awesome with unplugged, and this is number yes. three, I believe. Part three. Part, part three. Part three. Wow, and they've you know got what? three cons, eh? Holy yeah. crap, you that's know, amazing! Yeah, but, we've reached the trilogy. It's nice. That's beautiful. And you I'm tell gonna, more, Gary. Tell us I'm more. I'm not going to tell you more right now, but I want you to know, folks. September 27th through the 28th, two days, Saturday and Sunday. That's right. At the Chestnut Conference Center. Now get this. Yeah. Unplugged three has is amazing, amazing, amazing guests. That's that right. are going to be present. <laughs> yes, at this. That's well, these right. These guys are looking like <laughs> shut up. you're ruining my. You're ruining my. Hey, you're doing good. Keep going, Gary. Keep no, it. They're, they're saying you're ruining. By all it, guys. means, keep going, no, Gary. No, no, you're ruining <laughs> it. 
you know, <laughs> you got me in. Thr- you got me intrigued. Uh, you know, my you know, dick is semi erect right now, buddy. <laughs> but you know what we like to do for these type of cons? We like yes. to get some kind of pre registration if possible. We'd like that. Okay. And it helps with the planning and everything, and there we like go. that, right? So if you wanted to do that, <laughs> if you wanted to pre register, the gentlemen right now in the studio are going right. to tell us how to do that. Tell us. Well, Please. guys, you can go to uh, www.unpluggedexpo.com. There you go. Uh, hit on reg- uh, hit on register and go to pre-register, and you can pick up your tickets for. Right now, pre-registration is only twenty five dollars. Very That's nice. ten dollars off the uh, the door price. So. There you go. And it's and that actually is the same cost for Saturday only. Oh, so I mean, good. like you're getting yeah. two days for the price of one. Like, there you go. That's amazing, dude. Could you t- also amazing. tell us what's going on with this <laughs> early bird dance ticket thing? What you know that? what? Oh, Actually, you guys um, doing a dance? No, well, here's here's okay. So <laughs> I've so heard of we those dances. We, you know what? We've been debating that, but yeah, you know, we, we've we've actually come to the conclusion. You know, like we were okay. We were at another event mm-hmm. uh, this weekend. Oh, um, the bu- 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 Con Bra- Con Con Bravo. Con Bravo. Con Bravo. Thing, we were yes. at Con Bravo this weekend. Okay, so it was on my tongue. I now, um, honestly, yeah, the concert was 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 smashing. It was it was booming. Smashing. Oh, it was smashing. Was it groovy? It was groovy. Was it a bit of all right? So I make it, it made me horny. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna that tell was you. Good. That was I'm, good. Not, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what happened to Tom Lollipop. That oh. was just terrible. Oh, it was yeah. terrible. That's that not good. Terrible. terrible. Oh, I heard it was the, good. The, no, oh, the, no, was no, good. no. The whole oh. thing was good, but uh, it happened. It was oh, terrible. okay. You can tell me off the. Air. I'll tell you off the. Air. Or during the commercial, and then we'll figure out if we can say it on. Sure. The air. No problem. All right. <laughs> so go ahead. Do you tell more about? Uh, well, at a at um. I come Bravo. Yeah, you know, the kids were loving it, like yeah, the yeah. dance and everything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know, we talked to the DJ. He's yeah. he's on board, and you know, nice. I think we we we've decided, you know, for you the might er, do it. for no no no, um, because originally we wanted to do the the uh, you know like charge for, oh. for the dance, right? Right, right, right. But you know what? I really want people to be happy. Yeah. And I really want people to actually have a good time. So you know if what? you pre register if yeah. you pre register, yeah, yeah. you know what? We're actually gonna we're actually gonna throw that in. Awesome. Right? But only for awesome. pre registration. That's a, that's good. So if you don't pre register, yeah, right, you're gonna that's so that that price is gonna come off, right? Nice. So if you don't And I've heard that you guys have been getting some good hits already. Oh gosh. On we, the pre registration. You know what? Do you want to tell them or should uh, Do you guys want to yeah, share that well information or because that's yeah, pretty well, impressive. No, no, we've we've pretty much more than triple. No, more than triple. Well, more than yeah, well, more than triple. six times really? higher than what we had last year by this time. Get so. out of here! Yeah, so that's amazing. Yeah, I'm not so doing the numbers, so, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> no, no, no. I'm yeah. not asking for numbers. <laughs> but I mean, I remember the first year. Let's mm. go back to the first year. Small venue, right? But you guys did very well. Yeah. And I was, I was very, very happy to be mm-hmm, there. It was mm-hmm. a great show. Net last year. I know you guys doubled because you even oh, told us more you, than you more than we doubled. More than so I can't yeah. wait to see what's yeah, going to yeah, happen. You, you hey, know, you were there. You know, because I was there. You <laughs> saw. <laughs> and Austin Remember, was very groovy. Yes, he was very. <laughs> guy comes out of the guy yeah. comes out of a. a Here we go. <laughs> He looks yeah. at me. He's like, James, I'm gonna get dressed up as well. I'm like, <laughs> dude, that would back ju- of the booth. I'm, I'm like, that would that would make my day. Yes, yeah. it was I, like Clark I, Kent. It was, bro. it was a, it, no, it was one of those classic moments. Yeah. I walk in one way, <laughs> door opens, and it's like time stood still. Because <laughs> I see and this Austin blue, comes out. <laughs> I, I see this crochet wearing yeah, blue. Yeah. This son of a bitch. Leisure suit. <laughs> Austin Powers showed up for a show. Yes, oh. he did. It was crazy. <laughs> and this year. Rat, um, rat rug on his head. <laughs> <laughs> and this year, unlike last year, uh, and he, uh, Dr. Gave a heart a- he gave a heart attack mm-hmm. to Do- a little girl beside oh. him. Oh. When I he said, was yeah, like, baby. Yeah, baby. This <laughs> girl <laughs> jumped six feet. I remember that. <laughs> jumped six feet in the air. And then you got Poor all excited. Girl. And I freaking, I, I was, I was, it was over. I was, I was, I was screaming like a little girl. Uh, nice. <laughs> I was like one of those. Groupies, I, I was like one of those groupies, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, and then I, I won for the, what was it, the best, not best costume, <laughs> but it was best show or something like that. Like you won. You, you won best presentation. Awesome. That was what it was. You, you, you <laughs> yes, won the I was best very presentable. Yes, thank you. And he didn't even like, want it. Eh? He was no, like, "What am I gonna do with this thing?" I was like, "Well, I, let's give it to somebody who deserves it. I'm an entertainer. What the hell's wrong with you people? Come on." Well, it's funny about that one too. Like there were all of four enters. Yeah. And then that was the first year. The next year we had like twelve. Oh boy. And it was bigger, like, yeah. Well, it was, was, it was 12, yeah. and then what happened was, like, the average on, on most conventions is that, like, three or four will drop out. Nobody dropped out. Right. They all wanted to be there. Oh, that's nice. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you guys had the uh, the dating. 
How the speed dating. dating. Speed yeah. dating. Yeah, the speed dating. <laughs> did that work out last year or what? Because you know what, I to, saw some of the be, people that went for it, and I was like, really. To be perfectly <laughs> honest with you, the, the, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but it's that's all it is. Okay. It's it's not it's not it's to hook not up. to actually get no. Together it's not it. to hook up. No. <laughs> you know why? No, because no some of the ever, girls that were in that, no like ever. they were actually taken. And I'm sitting there going, isn't that a little unfair to these poor guys who've never left their house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I but, think, <laughs> no, but I think they all went in knowing. It was just yeah. for fun. You know, okay. I mean, it wasn't anything. All right. But it was no, interesting. Serious. You're ruining people's dreams here. Come on, oh, I think you, uh, you, Gary's on the phone you're gonna, there. You've got to stop that. Unless he's ordering <laughs> us a pizza, that would be awesome to go with this awesome wine. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, but tell us more about uh, this new building. Like, what um, are we looking at here? How many? How much um, square footage? It's bigger than last year, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's what um, she said. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but but what, what, what have we got to look forward to? Like, uh, is there a lot more space to yeah, like yeah. So last, last year, uh, last year yeah. we had three floors. Yeah. We had right. three floors. But, yeah, they yeah. Were, but the, the accommodations themselves were unforgiving. Yeah, we had three right. floors. Yeah, but it was the, a little yeah, the, the crazy. Middle, but the middle floor was just the hallway part of the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this time we have two large, like, floors. Very like massive. Full ass. Very nice. Yeah, and... Uh yeah the 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 location the venue location okay, a lot yeah, better. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's downtown, downtown Toronto. It's downtown yeah, we're not in Regent. University. We're not in Regent Park <laughs> no, no, not anymore. <laughs> you guys aren't like way <laughs> we, west. We've improved. It's, it's, yeah, that's you know amazing. What? It's For funny. East, it was east. It's funny because yeah. uh, it, like I, th- I think it was, it was like a Cinderella story, right? Yeah. Like, yeah literally yeah. seven o'clock hit. Yeah. Yeah. The place was empty. <laughs> yeah. Was I've never I've never seen kids vacate a place. And then we had that rainstorm. Oh, and we yeah. also had the fire. Was, fire was, yeah, let's not forget the fire. That was great. That was great. That was great. <laughs> it was stuff to people to talk about. You know, you know, you know what? Unplugged is unplugged has always had its share of, of controversy. Yeah, mm-hmm. like but the, and good memories. But the, the burning car that was crazy. That was nuts. Yeah, Gary wasn't the there rain, for that. He didn't rainstorm. get a chance to see that. That was crazy. In the rainstorm, yeah, that was amazing. But uh, but I mean, who have you got lined up? Is it, can you give us any names for guests? Sure. Um, our headline guest this year is uh, a gentleman named Johnny Young Bosch. And that was the guy from Power and Rangers. He's a Power Ranger. All right, right. And pow- I'm trying and, to clear and pa- that up. Power Rangers are huge right now. Ah, because the the movie just got greenlit by um, uh, Lionsgate. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so they're, so they're going to redo. They're going to reboot oh, the original boy. Mighty Morphin Another Power Rangers. Another reboot. Yeah. <laughs> so it's possible he yeah. might actually be in the film. He actually might have a cameo. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool. He's the original Power Ranger. He is the second actually. Ah, yeah. He, okay, he, okay. He, he took over for. See, okay. Here's the funny thing about the Power Rangers, right? Yeah. So the black ranger was black. <laughs> the yellow ranger was yellow. With his Asian <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. No, last sorry, week we were doing Jamaican <laughs> impressions. It's all good. <laughs> go ahead. I'm yellow. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm immune to this I'm, kind I'm of I'm brownish. <laughs> I'm Portuguese. So. Right, you know, the, red ra- the red ranger was Native American. Yes. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. The white ranger was, sorry, the, blue ranger, the blue ranger was yeah. gay. Oh, <laughs> if it was pink, okay. it would make more sense. Yeah. But the pink, Hi. the pink ridge, <laughs> is, a, the pink ridge is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So. Talk about politically incorrect in the nineties. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. That was out in the nineties, wasn't yeah, it? The was, show? That yeah, was, that yeah. Was, that was what I was, was never. I, I apologize, but I was never a big Power Rangers no, fan. No, no, So no. give me something else. Who else is coming along? Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> who's coming for the ride? <laughs> well, for for all the for all your Dragon Ball Z fans, um, right. basically the the voice of um, Pan. Which nice. is the, the the lead character in Dragon Ball GT? Very nice. Uh, she's coming, and coming? she was also. <laughs> <laughs> she's coming. She is coming. <laughs> yeah, if you saw her, she will be a hello. So Gary, you're on the probably. phone for a bit. Were you ordering yeah. us a pizza no. there, buddy? No, 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 no. Right. Business stuff. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought yeah. you were getting uh, us a pizza. Come on, no. man. Supply you wine. You can't no. get us a pizza. You prick. No, I'm kidding. All right. All right. So go ahead. No. Sorry, guys. So Johnny Young Bosch is also yeah. a very famous uh, voice actor. Nice. And uh, he's done a lot of video game work. Um, awesome. He's been on so many different things. So his mm-hmm. his career has exploded. So right on. Yeah, he's very popular. Right is uh, Mary Anthony Evans returning? She's welcome. Yeah, um, I would love to see her again. She's welcome, she's but amazing. you know what? She might be busy. Her schedule might conflict with with Unplugged this year, so oh. it's possible because you know they're Shit. as you know, uh, <laughs> Defiance Defiance got yes. um, picked up for another season. I heard about that. So, yeah, so you know, there's a lot of uh, pro- post production work that has to be done. Very nice. So you she know. back? She's back. Obviously, she she's, she's probably. I, I don't know. We, we yeah. actually haven't spoken with Mary. No, yeah, well, you know, we'll, uh, we'll shoot we'll her an email, we'll man. We'll give you an update. Yeah, we'll give you an update, man. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I really like Mary Anthony was just amazing. She was like the mm-hmm. friendliest person I've ever oh, met. Yeah, she's great. just so. And the best part was, was I went to go change his Austin Powers. Right. So I come back out, and she said hi to me, but as Dell. She goes, "Oh, Dell, that's amazing." And I'm sitting there like, 
cool. At least you didn't call me Austin Powers. Like I was like, that is amazing. Like that's just to I me, that's really cool. I was, buddy. I'm still in love. I fall in love every day, brother. <laughs> so but um, our, um, our, is, who else is coming yeah. along? I know so you guys big, got a bunch yeah, well, already. The, the 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 big thing right now, honestly, is all the other features. So. Right. We have uh, an improv comedy group. Uh, they're called the Dandies, okay. and they do geek improv. Very nice. So basically, they reenact a lot of Star Trek and Star Wars uh, scenes. <laughs> right? That ought to be interesting. Yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, They've yeah, actually yeah. performed in three other conventions and nice. made huge hits. Each, Are they each, on each YouTube time. so that people can check? Um, these guys unfortunately, out? no. They're, they oh. they only do live shows. Oh, so they don't. You know, they're smart. they're in downtown mm. Toronto. Smart, right? And yeah, you yeah. have to go there to see it. Yeah, right. That's very smart. Um, who else? Oh, yeah. So our DJ for this yeah. year is DJ Janos. Janos. And he's a very popular DJ in the um, in the geek culture scene right now. Nice. Right? So he basically spins a lot of chip tune. He spins a okay. lot of um, anime music. He spins. Uh, yeah, he's, he but spins. But I've been to these anime parties, and, buddy, they're just weird. Oh. Well. Like, they play, like, the weirdest techno shit. Like, and you're sitting there, like, and you're like, how are these people dancing to this? Like, they're mm. bouncing up and down. They're not dancing. No, they're not dancing. And it's like. There's no. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what the? F- is that a dead like a cat getting strangled? Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not dogging this guy yeah, in no, any no, way. No, he course. could be amazing, but I don't know. Our <laughs> the dance is all ages, yeah. Right. So nice. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be what it is, right? Right. But these kids are gonna get drunk in the one way or the other. I mean, like <laughs> they have an official hotel, <laughs> nice across the street. Oh, and very so nice. They're gonna get double tree, correct? There you yeah, go. Yeah, That's yeah, right. The double, double tree. Exactly. There you go. So they're gonna get See? buzzed over there. <laughs> nice in yeah. their hotel rooms, and then they're gonna stumble and then they're gonna over stumble to over to the other side. Maybe we should get a hospitality room over there. Yeah, we should. But I'm sure Corrado is gonna be there at the gate, like hey, buddy. You're a little drunk. You can't come in here. You know what I'm well, saying? No, that's not my job. This year. Whoa! No, 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 no. <laughs> he doesn't care. We have security for <laughs> that. We have security for that. That's nice. nice. You guys that's actually have security? Yeah, yeah they, they always did. did. Where you Who was security last year? I didn't see even the guys at the door. We, we, we had to hire. We had, we had to hire the whole, the whole suit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing Listen, James, you guys, why don't you just talk to me? Disregard me. I think they'll Go back to reading your emails, Gary. He doesn't get it. I get it, man. Dude, the guy's even at the door. I you know, know. I'm you messing know, around, so, yeah. man. No, you're not. You I said the Corrado was 800 pounds. Hello. He's not. <laughs> he's, not. he's not. He's nice. not even close to that. <laughs> so another an, another really cool thing is happening. I was messing around. Yeah, sure yeah, yeah. no. Rick, right. hey, James is trying to be serious. All right. Be <laughs> serious, I'm, I'm James. Never, I'm never serious. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I only pretend to be serious. Oh, salud. While he drinks. Telling me to be serious. That's it, buddy. Chug away. Wait, all right, James, start that sentence again. You oh, only did it 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> and go. go. Here we <laughs> go. There you go. <laughs> so the, the Joker, Joker, the Joker is nice. commanding me to move, all right? So, very nice. Um, yeah, so <laughs> one, of the th- one of the great things that just uh, landed our laps, actually, literally, mm. was um, a, a brand new screener called for the new movie uh, Video Games the Movie. Okay. Yeah, that just actually came in. It's by Variance Films. Right. It actually stars Will Wheaton, a nice. whole cast of. Um, obviously, you're not really into geek stuff, but basically, <laughs> the host of G4 Tech TV. It's going is, right over my head, buddy. <laughs> she's 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 in this too. She's I a, know her. She's a sexy geek. She's right? Very she sexy, is geek, a sexy yes. geek. Right. Very nice. A lot of value game developers. A whole yeah. bunch of esports stars. Yes. It's going to be great. It's, I remember you, you were know telling about the esports last year. That's right. That they actually because I didn't see that because we were busy running around doing. That's right. Thing. So if you want to learn more about video games and the history yeah. of video games, this is the movie you want to watch. It's nice. in theaters now, mm-hmm. but we have an exclusive screener. At nice. Unplugged Expo uh, on the Saturday, I believe. There it is, you go. Right? There you go. And um, but the the biggest draw for this year mm-hmm. is Unplugged After Dark. Nice. And do tell. Well, is Unplugged that like After a Dark is parlor. <laughs> <laughs> it's adult. It's a slightly Hello. more adult. In, 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 in I the think theme. it just got my attention. And right? Gary's, I think. So <laughs> I don't know if you know, but I just green lit, and Corona's uh-huh. probably going to kill me for this. I just green lit a oh. panel called Hentai. Hentai for it. Oh, oh boy. This is news to me too. I just greenlit it. Oh no. I nice. just greenlit it. James. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it was it, apparently it was so risque for the for the science center they canceled it at A pop. Can you wow. believe that? Yeah. It was so risque. Whoa, why, <laughs> why are you pulling the gun out, man? <laughs> you did say he's gonna I'm get actually, upset. I'm actually quite he's, intrigued because I didn't even <laughs> know this was even happening. Okay. Very nice. Very so nice. I was wow. approached. I was approached by uh, at Apop. Yeah. Right? I was approached by the by the guys from um, from uh, game shows. And you're allowed to screen this stuff without any problems. We can do whatever. We, uh, it's our venue. We okay. can do whatever we want. But right. they, uh, anyone in this room has keep to keep in mind. Be, there's kids. They have man. to be plus eight. They have to be plus eight. <laughs> well, this is it's why it's after dark. Okay. It's okay. All right. All right. Oh, by the way, we're running. We're running till one. Yeah, one o'clock one in the morning. morning. Yeah, this Holy this year, last shit. year we were what, shut down by seven. seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. going to one a.m. No, this time. I'm, let me get this straight. <laughs> 
Saturday, Gary's what are the hours? Yeah, Saturday. what are the hours? Yeah. The hours on Saturday are 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. to 1 a.m. Holy shit. Wow. wow. And what about longer. Sunday? Sunday is 11 a.m. to 6, 6 p.m. So, so how well, did you, let me ask you Sunday. this. Yeah. How did you happen to arrange to get uh, the con to go to 1 a.m.? Was that? I was about to ask that. That's very How'd strange, you guys do that? actually. You know what? We uh, we had to negotiate with the venue. I mean, that's yeah. uh, that's the, what it really boils that's, down that's, to. That um, was the part last that year. Know, yeah. took care, that's know? where you <laughs> took care of business <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to be playing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that's where there are a couple of body bags in the <laughs> back there. We're going to make you a, we're gonna make you a deal. You make an offer you can't refuse. The venue did give me a hard time about it. They really did. Yeah. They wanted to shut down. Well, they, they first they pushed for ten, and then yeah. they pushed them to midnight, and they said, yeah. "No, no, we need one a.m." And it, it took a few weeks. No, I gotta ask, why did you guys push for one a.m.? What because, made you decide well, more to programming. go? More programming, a dance bit ah. more. There's a dance. A dance does not do okay. well. Yeah, at six if you go at early, six yeah. o'clock. Yeah. And not only that, but Who now we can have uh, yeah, but we can have uh, some of the other True, rooms also point. for the after dark right, right, programming. Right, right. Uh, yeah. As I just found out about. Good point. You're not even telling your own guy what the hell's going on here, James. I have to get these things approved. Before <laughs> I tell him, because if I don't do that, then all right, who are you guys? Like, um, you guys are the co-producers of this, or is one guy ahead of the other guy? No, there's a no. We have fifty fifty. We have no, we, we're, we we're have not. We're not the only we're two. Not, there's yeah. other people involved. Yeah. But we're yeah, all, there's Jocelyn. Yeah, yeah but also, but whose concept yeah. was it originally when you started number one? Whose idea was it? <laughs> well, actually, we did. You know, we mentioned this the last time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. you know, Gary, you might as well give us a reboot of that because. A this lot of people are hearing you guys <laughs> for the first time. Like uh, un- Unplugged was a happy coincidence. Yeah. Right? But it, if you really want to go back to the history of Unplugged, the Unplugged started actually in, ni- in 2006. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. 2006 yep. is when Unplugged started. Well, okay. The, it was the original inception. Inception of idea uh, of it. The whole, the whole concept. Yeah. When you guys came up with the yes, whole. Yes, but Unplugged, okay. Unplugged in 2006 was a completely different beast. It uh. was supposed to be the first video game convention in Toronto. I remember and that was started that. by yeah, you yeah. guys. You're that saying? was started by us. We, yeah, we yeah. started along with four other partners. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's another four yeah. partners, and yeah. um, wow. no, I just I think we wanted to we tried to make it too grandiose oh, uh, okay. for what we were not experienced yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some of that still big. fresh in the industry. Yeah, and, and really uh, so you know what I mean. It, it kind of fell by the way. So we had a good idea going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. the um, the lack yeah. of experience was was definitely like. Corrado and I are the only ones who really knew what the heck we were doing. Yeah, right. yeah. the other ones also lack commitment from the, the other guys. The other guys group. had just ah. come like they were, they were they were just nine to fivers, you know. Right, what I mean? right, like right. They were having their regular jobs. Yeah, and, yeah. Right. Corrado and they were the only ones who ever run their own businesses. Yeah, right. And mm-hmm. actually, understood. and you still guys are self-employed, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we work, right. we work oh, together. Yeah. 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 Well, they're the ones who um, are responsible for apocalypse. Right. For I know all that stuff, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, um, and when you initially, let me ask you this: when you initially set up a con like this. It's a big undertaking, financially and otherwise. And the bottom line is, is there a lot of upfront money out of your pocket or a lot of people are saying, uh, we'll wait a few months, ticket sales, then you can start paying us. You can at least you know, rent the venue, get this happening, this happening, then we expect payment three or four weeks before or two weeks. Well, or do you got to fork out a lot of money? Uh, no, no. Well, basically, okay, but... I don't know okay. anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, I don't <laughs> that, know what that's talking. my part. Corrado takes have, care yeah, of that. No that's what um, the horse had in the bed. No, and not, you know, I'm not trying to get personal. No, no, no. But you know what? I'm open to it. No, it it's basically this. Uh, you know, when we started, like, you know, the, the first year, yeah. when we finally did do it, it was a small venue. It was. So, and and part of the reason why I greenlit and I said, okay, to James is do it is because... Mm. It was it was a small show, yeah. um, with not too much risk involved. Absolutely. Yeah, we did have to put up front. You know, yeah. when we first yeah. started, all the money came yeah. out of our pockets. Yeah, but it was it wasn't too risque because yeah, it, it was, was a safe. It was a safe kind of yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we just just to just to try it out, get our foot yeah. in the door, see how it's yeah. like. Right, but you also got to yeah. remember that, uh, b- dialing it back a bit, we had been involved with another. Uh, yes, the other early, promotion. Right? Hope it Long wasn't time ago. No, 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 no. Right. So Anime North. You guys. No, are no, no, part no, of no, 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 no. No, something else. No, we were doing. We were doing. We were doing actually promotions with with another group. Okay? Oh, okay. And we basically cut ties with that group. Gotcha. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So once we cut ties with them. Yeah. We basically. It was time uh, to move on. It was time to move on. Right. Right. What did but Ron f- say when you told him that? Sorry. No. Ah, <laughs> whoa! I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Remember, it's oh, me. Yeah, it's don't worry. It's, hey, hey, it's whoa, coming to song down. of the week. It's coming. It's my <laughs> opinion. It's my voice. I it wasn't you guys. I hear you. No it was problem. Me. <laughs> I hear you. I hear All you. All right, take yeah, it easy. No problem. <laughs> Calm down. But out of out of that situation, yeah, grew pro- like grew. Unplugged. Right? And you know what? It, it, yeah. For us. We uh, we we took we took a situation which could potentially could have been you know um, negative n- no not negative but oh, okay. could have been um you know what uh, 
you know, we could have lost money. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. but I we gotcha. turned it into we turned it into we turned it into, 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 into a positive. Yeah, I gotcha. into a positive. I gotcha. yeah. But you know what? It was an exercise in in thinking differently. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what? We we didn't have a budget for advertising. Yeah, yeah. No. We didn't have a budget for um for guests. So how did you guys pull off all that advertising without money? Well, that's the thing, right? So Just word of mouth. It was mm, all no. social, social media. media. Ah, social media it, was yeah. the Very was nice. was the thing, and you know what? I mean, reality radio is a is. Uh, you know, uh, social media. Yeah. Exactly, it's, a ma- it's a, an advertising medium in yeah, itself, yeah. right? Absolutely. So, you know what? I, I'm sure you guys understand that. Yeah, yeah and you know what? Al- your your website is phenomenal. I think you guys might not think so. A lot of times when you tell people that, they go, "That's all right. It does a job, but it's well put together." Yeah, well, your you, your, you your yeah, website you guys got your shit and, we, sure. and we do everything it's in well house put too. Together, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, because our main, like, you remember how we said last year, our main bread and butter, we do graphic design. Yeah. yeah. So you know, all the video production, the editing, it's the beautiful, it's all done. You guys still, you guys still working at that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's our. That's oh, our yeah. yeah main bread and butter nice. day, day-to-day Great job, job, right? Great um, job, and uh, you know, and and you should you see know. their video work, Gary. Blows I'd my shit to, out man. of the water. I'd Blows my <laughs> shit out of the water. So, yeah, if you, you know what? You got to get me that Apocalypse Four uh, ad so I can show Gary. Because that uh, that'll blow him out of the yeah, sky. Yeah, well, we can there. we can, put, it we can pull it up on YouTube. He'll ask you guys. We can pull it up on YouTube right now if you want to see it. I mean, like you yeah. post it on YouTube. No, it's on. It's a private link. Ah. Yeah, so I can show it to you right. if you want to see it. Um, but I'll, we'll see it after. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> well, we got a song of the week coming. In, up. Oh wait, in, no, no, um, I want to f- finish the question here. So, so okay. oh, basically sorry. now, right. is it this time now? Your your third time around with this particular show, is it more or less? People trust you. They respect you, and they say, "Let's get it all together. Let's get it down on paper." And then, as time goes on, we can start worrying about financials. No, there's still a little bit you have to put up front, no matter what. Yeah, uh, nobody signs any contracts with you without, you know, you having to put a portion up front. Yeah, but there is a difference in the, um, you know, I, I think earlier on, like when you went to the venue and said we'd like to run your venue for two days, yeah. it was like, oh, okay. Uh, you, you, have you, put, you have to put sixty percent up front, and what are you guys right, doing right, 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 right now? Wow. It's it's our third year, and when I say, "Look, this is our third year, and we've been yeah. at this location and this location," yeah, yeah. it's when I say, "Okay, these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Right, we've right, right. we've outgrown. We're, we're yeah. yeah. We've outgrown every we've grown. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. When I tell them that, look, we, we went from this to this to this size. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. you know, they so look at you as a little bit more seriously. Yeah, yeah of, course, serious. of course. I got Yeah, and they're, they're willing to work with you a little bit more. Yeah, and in um, such a short time too, because in yeah. three years, you guys have outgrown. Yeah, you know, yeah, they are bigger buildings. So that's pretty impressive. So. I, I don't know if you've no, I don't know if you guys noticed, but mm. um, I, you probably haven't because you know the radar doesn't. You guys, this isn't on your radar really. But in the last three, <laughs> could be on my radar. Possibly, <laughs> possibly. In the last five years, I yeah. think three to five years, mm-hmm. just a plethora of different conventions. Oh, tons. Have tried, no, I've definitely noticed. Have that. tried. Yeah, lots. Many, many, many lots. times. Right. Now it's out of control. You, now. you know as well as you. I do. <laughs> you know. You. You're good. You. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you do I say? amuse you? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm funny? You, you think, think I'm funny? funny? You think I'm like, I'm like funny. a clown? No, no, I go just, ahead. What are you going to say, bro? What the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't hey, no, no worries. That's the first time I've heard you actually <laughs> flat out say it. That's great. <laughs> go ahead, dudes. Go ahead. So, I've... The, th- the problem is this. You're good, you. There you go. Did <laughs> you shut up with the sound effects? <laughs> go ahead, James. First time of the night, you bastard. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. The problem is this. Yeah. A lot of these conventions don't know what they're doing. Like, you know, I'm not going to name any names. I'm not I, give one, anything. I agree with you 100%. I'm not say anything. But there have been a few events that have not done well. I yeah. mean, let, let's nope. let's be honest. I Corrado agree. and I were at uh, an event Yeah. Uh, last year in... October? Mm-hmm. No, sorry. No, it was September because we were in mm-hmm. October. Right. And and I know you know, know where I'm <laughs> you know He knows where he's going. Be nice. <laughs> right? Um, um, uh, Be nice. It? I'm not being nice. Right. <laughs> I'm being nice. I'm being nice. Cowboy was there. Oh, uh, Nigel. Yeah, yes, Nigel I know which one you're talking about. You do. Oh, we're not so going to We're not going to say. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say I know okay? which one you're talking about. All right. All right. No problem. No, I'm not saying shit. They left early. Yes, they, they did. They couldn't be bothered. Yes. Right? We left early. <laughs> yeah, because we they, were, be they weren't making any cash. Right? I mean, that's usually uh, okay, what so I walked so in so and turned around. So, <laughs> Corrado's, got the, best, there, you Corrado's <laughs> got the best story because, yeah. like, basically the hallways were empty. Oh, boy. Right? And then yeah. basically, Corrado and I were, sa- were sitting around, and Corrado, I'll let you take over. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the, tab- <laughs> the table that we were sitting at, yeah. uh, promoting our show there, yeah. Um, all of a sudden, the organizers of the event mm-hmm. grabbed one of the tables beside me that was empty. Yeah. Had used it. Yeah, and uh, and opened up a board game, set it all up, had wow. beers in hand. Oh boy! And we're just playing the board game and drinking. And I know these were the event organizers, and I'm thinking oh to myself, geez. "How oh professional my, is that?" I, no, it's not. Forget about professional. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. 
in front of people too. In front of in front of whatever. Yes, and nobody's there. It's boring. What, what yeah, few people sucks. don't work. Yeah. I understand that yeah. part of it, but I'm just thinking to myself, my God, I, if I if our show had turned out that bad, that's yeah. the last thing I would be doing. Yeah, I mean, you'd yeah, leave. I mean, <laughs> I'd be in panic mode. Yeah, like, I don't understand. Like it, it just to stupid. me was like, I like, wasn't wow. at that how event often, though. How but often I know did you? How often did you see us? Gary. Yeah, I know. Barely. How often yeah, we struggled yeah, to get you at the end. I, mean, so. you know, I you, saw you once in a while, but yeah. you were so busy talking. You're on your two way. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting instructions. You're up and down. And yeah, this you and guys are running. And, and I even said he wanted yep. to do a quick interview. Yep, yep. And I actually said, I said, you know what? Goes, I've talk been to them later. With, yeah. I've been involved with things at radio conventions, not yep. like yours. And I said, you know what? These guys are way too busy. Yeah, give Just them a do, second. Get, yeah. Let them do their thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you're it, you have to be. <laughs> oh yeah, no, have, he, Everybody's pulling at you yeah, yeah, from day yeah. one. As soon oh, as you yeah, get there, yeah. everybody's oh, yeah. pulling at you. Yeah. Yep. Even when I saw him upstairs controlling the lineup for the 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 autograph session, mm, yeah. he was stressing, man. Yeah, but <laughs> put the stress aside. Yeah. When you when you guys are the the, the key group the core yeah, yeah. and you're in there everybody and their brother that has anything to do with that con yeah, they is pulling at you yeah, exactly. i need this i need yeah, to, hold yeah, on i'll yeah, be with yeah. you a minute i need yeah. the table we don't yeah. have power here yeah. this is yeah. here and you're all over the map yeah. and the least thing these guys want to think about is let me sit down and do an interview with del morgado <laughs> it's like and all I, right I, I and on that I, note you I prick i said <laughs> leave them alone all right well we're gonna do the second song <laughs> well, of the week now you bastard <laughs> all right, we, we, we're, right. we're more than happy. No, but to we do they promised but. time and we did come. Yeah, yes, yes. So and you did, and you gave me a I great interview collapsed. too. And that was awesome. I needed, I needed yeah. one of those. So we I needed <laughs> that Twizzler that you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot so about those. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That was the first well, we meal a, I had all day. Oh, we, we got another. We got another song no, of the week. There guys. was no food in the venue. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, don't remind Gary that he'll go out for another hour. So let's do the second song of the week right now. Yes, we must. Please come on. Give me a hint. Give me a hint, real quick. All right. Well, you don't know them because they're a new band. They're literally. What do you mean? I don't know them. Well, like I've played, rock them, band, I've played them. Band, I've played what? them a couple of times. All right. How's that? All right. Very good. Yeah. All right. So just they're friends of mine. All, All right. right. There oh, you go. Not those guys. No, not those guys. Right. The better guys. Right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to listen to Left Turn City, and the song is called Low. You're listening to that on the Del Morgado Show on Reality Radio 101. <laughs> <laughs> It's buried deep within my bones One step closer to The city of blinding lights Where tomorrow never comes And God pretends he's overthrown Make no mistake, I am what you made me I buy my mask when no one can see me love It's me right to the bone Cry. 
I'm Flash Lowlight. And I'm Nick Nikon. And, and we, we are, are the Puppet Rotsy. If you are looking for great entertainment for your special event, then Puppet Rotsy is the most amazing show that you will ever encounter in your life. Yeah, yeah, we are an adult puppeteer show that is sure to bring down the house. Your house. With great humor, banter, jokes, and interviews with your very special guests. And hardcore reporting of your event that will mystify you, surprise you, and even make you roll in the aisles. Let our professional sound, lighting, staging, and puppeteering skills amaze you and your clientele with the absolute best entertainment that you deserve. For more information on booking Puppet Rotsy or to see a video demo of our show, please go to facebook.com forward slash Puppet Rotsy or email us directly at puppetrotzi at hotmail.com. That's puppetrotzi at hotmail.com. Hey, that was pretty good there, buddy. I, yeah, I was yeah. happy with that. Hey, let's go for at Lanzacore Property Maintenance, we do it all. From spring cleanups to fertilization, eaves trowel cleaning, and weekly lawn maintenance, you can be sure to trust Lanzacore. Mention that you heard this ad on the Del Margotto Show on Reality Radio 101 and receive 10% off any of Lanzacore's professional property maintenance services. Remember, at Lanzacore, we do it all from snow plowing to sod placement, power washing to debris removal, and a whole lot more. And with our senior citizens discount, we take 10% off of your bill. For your free estimate, please call Lanzacore Property Maintenance at 416-414-8020. That's 416-414-8020. Call today and be weed-free and happier tomorrow. The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome back to the Del Morgano Show right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact Del by email, email him right now. Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. And now, back to your host of the Del Morgado Show, Mr. Del Morgado. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Del Morgado Show. We've got here in the studio Mr. James Bade and Mr. Corrado Ritza. Welcome, guys. Hello. Back to the show. Thank you. Thank Good to you. be here. Good to That's be here. Right. That's right. And uh, we are talking about Unplugged Expo 3. But I think we should break off from that for a little bit and just talk about something that's probably on your minds just as much as it's on my mind. And that is... I don't know what's on your mind. I know what's on their oh, mind. Well, I know what's on their you mind. You don't know what the hell's uh, on yes, their mind. Yes, they're, they're thinking something's coming up uh, September 27th uh. and 28th <laughs> at right. the Chestnut Conference Center right in downtown Toronto. Yeah, I think That's you're right. That's what's on their minds. I think you're right. Not yes. your crap. Is what's yeah, <laughs> yeah, my crap, huh? you fucker. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to swear. All right, let's talk about... The new Superman film. That was easy. There's a Superman. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> the, new Superman? the new Superman film no, no, with Superman Batman. V, yeah, Batman. V Batman. No, v not versus. Not V. Yeah, it's, v. Yeah. it's a V. It doesn't, it doesn't mean v. versus. It's what does it mean? It's supposed to be subtle. What it's is supposed to be subtle. versus, but, but it's not. not versus, no, that's that's so. playing to these kids. Yeah. What are they again, Derry? Oh, Dopey Grins. They are Dopey Grins. That's what I was waiting for. Surprised you remembered that. I was waiting for that. They are dopes. He hasn't said that in a long time. They're dopes. <laughs> so uh, what are your thoughts, gents? Did you guys see any of the... You saw the Dark Knight the way he looks now. Uh, I don't mind the suit. You don't mind the suit? It's all right. What about I, the actor? I, I don't I give know. a fuck about the suit. I'm talking uh, about the, the actor. actor <laughs> I, I, that's why I didn't bring up the, uh, nah. I the suit instead. Oh, there you go. The suit looks all right. Why do you think I started with that? Because I wanted to lead up to the actor. I'm not sure. Ben Affleck is Batman? Yeah. The reason why everyone's pissed off about this, let's let's be yeah. blunt, is because of his track record in past films. In past um, comic book films, you mean? Not just comic book films, huh? just films in general. I mean, Giggly or Jiggly yeah, or whatever. Okay. The fuck well, yeah, yeah, but he's that, done a lot. Of, he's made a lot of bad choices. That was, in his, that was in a his, pet project for his mm. his fia- his. Well, yeah, but time, that's what I'm saying, right? But I mean, stupid. tell me one Affleck movie that impressed you guys. 
Um, <laughs> his last one was Good actually. His last, his last one. Oh, was that one with the. Uh, I don't even know what that one was called. The the seventies one. The one that was based in. 70s. Pearl Harbor was fun. I don't mind that one. Pearl Harbor was. Fun. That's old. <laughs> no, I, you know I like Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, uh, really? Uh, I like uh, Armageddon. You know, really? you know. You know what? Wow. There are a few guilty oh. pleasures. That's the first person I've heard. There are a few. There are a few <laughs> wow. guilty pleasures in my life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. But that's I one hate, of them. I hated ID four. Oh, there that. you go. I hate ID four. Ah, but ID four. Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah. <laughs> I hated Independence Day. What's wrong with you, dude? How do you? How do you? How do you? How do you? How do you stop it? How do you stop aliens with a fucking like Boris like computer, computer man? No, 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 with, virus with a laptop. It's not a, a computer virus. Yeah, yeah. Our our. <laughs> it's creative. This is our, where it gets our, the, the game's on now. <laughs> Okay, well, you have got to be kidding me. Hold on, speaking of Michael Bay, forget about about the all the peculiarities about the virus. Binary code. It was a fun movie. That's all. It was fun. I'll give you that. Fuck that. No, fuck that. I'm going to say it right now. Fuck that. That movie was trash. Will Smith picking the alien virus, but it's a fun movie. It was fun. You know what? War of the Worlds, when they took off, War of the Worlds, when they landed, they couldn't breathe the atmosphere. I believe that more than a freaking. It's not. From the 40s. From the 40s. It's science fiction. shit, too, though. Oh, my God. No, no, not not the movie. I'm talking about like you know that's Ah, shit. That scared people. But it's science fiction. You're not supposed to take it seriously, man. (laughs) (laughs) Well, speaking of Michael Bay, uh, we just brought up the Michael Uh, Bay uh, movie. Uh, Did you guys ever watch the movie Pain and Gain? Because I actually saw that one this weekend. Yes, I did it. Did you like it? You know what? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was. Did you see it, James? No, I refused. It was pretty cheesy. I refused. (laughs) It was based on a true story, which I thought was interesting. I was waiting for one of their arms to explode. You know what? What kills me though is the level of violence that was in that movie. Pretty impressive. No, but it was. But then I started. And then I started thinking. Oh yeah, the blonde. <laughs> <wolf. laughs> but then I thought, <laughs> but I thought, but if that was, you know, based on a true story, yeah, holy cow, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty bad. It's a crazy story. Yeah, well, it is. The it best is. part was was when the Rock. I don't know. It's a big spoiler. Who gives a shit? It's been out for a long time. <laughs> it when the Rock is barbecuing the hands. Oh yeah, and he's outside in the open, and then on the yeah. bottom it says, "Yes, this is based on a true story." Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, howling. Yeah. I was like, you "That's the what? highlight of the movie for me." Yeah, yeah. So, but okay, well, the you Michael Bay one. I like Michael Bay films as long as it's not Transformers. Ah, uh, <laughs> good point. Okay, <laughs> what's your random. thoughts on the turtles? Turtles? Turtles. You talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, I guess. To I be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> if that's what he's calling them. Okay, to be ter- perfectly yeah. honest with you, I'm going to see it. You're going to see it? I'm going to see it. Gonna Corrado, you're going to watch I'm gonna it? I'm going to see it. Uh, no. No. I'm going to watch the train wreck. No, I'm going gonna, gonna to see I it. I saw Transformers, you know, too, and I was vastly I, I, disappointed I, I, with all four of them. <laughs> I miss Megan Fox. Oh, she's not, Fox, she's, she's, yeah, I miss wow. her. I haven't seen her in wow. a while. Well, you guys are you guys big turtle? Fans? I'm a huge turtles fan. Really huge. I, I, oh, I, but I, but I want to <laughs> see it. I want to see it because you know what? I want to see what this generation is going to make of it. Because ah. you know what? A lot of things are going completely down, opposite from. Well, no, no, I don't know about down. Going to make an ass of it. What do you think? All these going to turn, turn into crap. Yeah. I wanna, Did I you watch see. Robocop? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch Robocop? Of course not. You must have heard like, my show about it because I went off on that one. Oh, I just saw it not too long ago. It was a PG goddamn movie. Did you see it? How could you watch a PG movie like Robocop? Robocop. Why did you watch it yet? No, but then no. What I didn't understand is the hand. Yeah. Why keep the hand? Why just the hand? No, no, no. I know. No, I know. The first movie they said chop it. Yeah. Because he, he goes, we hand. don't want no. All it, all it was was a hand. It wasn't even the whole arm. It was just a hand. It was just a hand. Why just a hand. hand. What are you talking about? Robocop, they the new have, Robocop. He didn't have his arm. No, no, he didn't have his the arm. Hand. They had his. What yeah, just, what, it was it just his ha- head and his. They the kept. They, what they yeah, kept it for a souvenir or what? I, I didn't understand yeah, that. I didn't either. Get that either. But even no. in the is Robocop it the, the tactile sensation. When you <laughs> do, you know, like, like, <laughs> no, but the original what Robocop. He, he get, yeah. But the original what Robocop. Pleasure he does says, he get out of it? Like, no, I don't know. But in the original Robocop, he turns around and goes, "It's total prosthesis. Lose the hand. Lose the hand. Or lose the arm." Lose everything. Lose, yeah, yeah, yeah. lose everything. He's but like, this one, chest down. in this it. one, he gets to keep his what hand, the hand. So stupid. And is this the a target? design, design was shit. Yeah, dude, I went off on the Robocop. No, but, but you know what? did you see the part where they played homage to the original? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was silver. The, I saw it, it in the commercial. Just, no, it was no, just no, bad. Was, no, you didn't see the movie, have you? No, I no, I, they played there on a couple a, of little scenes the, the, that. Yeah, like were, the, that's how to improve his look. And yeah, the, yeah, 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 the original yeah. suit. Yeah, the original with suit. sirens on the shoulder yeah, or something like that. I'm like, what the hell? It was bad, dude. It was bad. you know, you want to hear something interesting? Well, I gotta, I gotta say this real quick before I forget. When I saw the new Robocop, I had to put the original on. Hmm. Like not even ten seconds later, yeah, just to redeem myself. Yeah, <laughs> cleanse, cleanse the, purge, yeah. purge the uh, the bad the bad memory. <laughs> and the, f- the worst part is, I even told my brother about this. He was laughing hysterical. I decided to watch it again, like an idiot, to really? see if I could wow. possibly save it. Hmm. 
There's no, no word saving. No. It's like actually, Man of Steel. No. Watching I the first time, get into it's it. not as bad. When you watch it the second time, it actually, you actually just start just to realize how bad it really yes. is. <laughs> it makes it worse. The more you watch it, the worse it is. The worse it is. You're 100% right. James, don't bother. Don't yeah, bother no, watching don't it. Watch it's that. a total why, why, why waste of fucking time. Total he gave waste. it to me. I was like, what is this? He gave it for free. He still deserves it. It's like, here, check it out. Check it out. Be disappointed. Are there any movies you guys are looking forward to coming out? Uh, I want to see. I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. So do oh, I don't know. Yeah, when's that coming out? Uh, in two weeks. Two weeks. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about the story. Two weeks. No, I more think than it that. is. No, it's like oh. mid August, isn't it? Is it mid August? I think no, so. I, I think it's no coming. Check it out. Ah, <laughs> too lazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, it's coming soon. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. when it is coming yeah. soon but to a theater near you. But is it close to the comics? You know, no, no, I don't think so. No, the original Guardians of the Galaxy was way back in the day, anyway. So here, here's a question. Let's see if Gary will jump in on this one. Captain America becoming a black man. Yeah, I saw that. I, I think it's that? ridiculous. There you go. See, what, I knew. What, I knew Gary was going to say that. But that's the comics, right? That's the comics. They're mm-hmm. they're gonna the they're, they're gonna doing? turn Captain America into they really a black man. They did it man. to Nick Fury. What the heck? Yeah, I, I know. Mean, you know what? Like, because it's all this bullshit. It's all this no, bullshit political just, correctness. Yeah. 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 And here's the bottom line: if someone now a creator yeah. makes a new character or something and introduces that character as black or gay, yeah. that's fine because it's a new character. Right. You don't take an old character and make Archie a gay guy all of a sudden. Okay. What about Thor? Thor is going to become a woman. Well, not not going to become. I think. It's well, a it's, Thor. it's a different Thor altogether, but yeah. apparently Thor doesn't have, because you know how the line goes, uh, yeah. he was worthy to, to carry He doesn't the, have the hammer anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So, so she, he, she, grabs she it, now right? grabs it because she's worthy, apparently. Wow. And also, Iron Man apparently is getting a new suit or some bullshit has, like that. He has like a ton of suits. He's got a thousand like, suits. But I mean, the, the main thing was obviously Captain America being a black guy. And everybody, I'm against it's a big it. uproar. Well, there, there you go. So Gary's upset about and it. it just, and as I say, for yeah. one reason only. If you introduce a new character yeah. or a new uh, someone in a comic series, what yeah. have you, and you want to make them it's this, that, or other, yeah. it's, it's acceptable. But you take something that's had years, decades, years yeah. of success, yeah. and now we want to be politically correct because yeah. you know we want to show that we're open to this and that and that. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. There you go. Okay, uh, you know what? That's and not I agree the way with it that. works. I agree with that. But here's where it could be interesting because it's a stunt. Marvel's done this before. And you know the that they've done this before. Yeah, I think it's just a, a stunt. Dies that in Marvel DC Universe, everybody so. fucking dies. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. I think it's just a stunt, and everybody should just kind of like, okay, l- let it run its course because eventually it's going to just go away. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe <laughs> he they're was doing killed. It, like, he was, sorry, maybe, oh, yeah, Captain America was killed. A publicity stunt to get sales. It, it always absolutely. Is. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Well, was, Superman's death. <laughs> That was a huge yeah. publicity stunt. What about stunt? Wonder Woman in her car- cargo pants a couple there, years ago? Yeah, I know. Oh, my <laughs> God. I remember that. that. Oh, oh, everybody yeah, fucking lost their though. minds. Everyone lost their cargo shit. Pens, I got to be able to see legs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see legs. I know. Legs. Gary's like, I want to see those legs. I want to see legs. <laughs> <laughs> and you see them every year to catch them. Every right? time. And, dude, I tell <laughs> you, I love the Wonder Woman costumes, man. But, no, I mean, just getting back to the whole point of the fact that they're always trying new shit. Look. Just to get some kind of sales. He's died you know already. What I'm Everybody's died. Freaking, uh, Superman Bucky, started Bucky that took whole over shit. for him. Yes. And then yes. now he's and what? Now he's still dead. So what? A black guy comes in <laughs> and takes black over. Dude for, like, it's uh, his partner. Uh, That's what I figured. What's his name? I forget his name right now. Fuck. He was freaking the new, Falcon there. Falcon. Or whatever his name is. That's exactly uh, who it is. <laughs> who cares? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does he take the super serum and not yeah, die? Like, I guess I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but apparently he's the guy who's going to become the, the last new. guy who took the super serum. Freaking turned into a like a p- big puddle of mush. I don't they, know. They also get like a red Hulk and a gray Hulk and. Oh, the they gave the Hulk body armor. Did you oh, see that yeah. shit? What is the that point bad. of that? Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? He's impervious to everything. Exactly, and then they give him body armor. What the hell are they smoking, man? I tell you, the, <laughs> it's no, it's no worse the than films DC. are doing very well. Oh, yeah. The films are doing very, very well. Mm, DC's got to straighten their shit out. No, man. DC's they got to work on some you, shit. You, you asked about the, the you asked about Batman Superman v, and v, v Superman v? Batman. Yeah, what a joke. It's a joke. What a joke. It's a like joke. Just what, what, a, what a great way to take, what a great way to take two successful. <laughs> say it again, Gary. No, a joke, but I just want to say, don't, I don't want to interrupt you uh, yeah, too much. You I'm love interrupting, but that's okay. We've got a writer who just wrote in from oh. Michigan, says, great show as always. Thanks for the con information. I might awesome. be up in Toronto on that hey. weekend. Looking forward to perhaps going. Nice. Oh, Thank awesome. you. Right. Maybe awesome. we could. Uh, well, we can give away tickets, yeah. 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 No, Maybe we should give this man. Well, you, you, you don't know. Be be no offense if you're still listening. You yeah. don't know. He said he may be. He may be. I wouldn't want to waste two tickets if he's not ah, going to be for sure. I got gotcha. you. Let's be honest. Yeah. All right. Why don't, we, why don't you run a contest? Yeah, we can run any yeah, contest. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll get some contests going for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year we gave away. Um, how many tickets did we get? It was there. Like, 
Yeah, it was a pair. You know what else I'd like to do is uh, we we are going to do some commercials for you, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'd like to actually have those guys do it. Hi, this is uh, hi, this is and we oh. are you know blah, blah, blah. we'd like to see you know like <laughs> yeah, switch them back and you've forth. You've seen you've seen James's scripts. No, come on. Now. <laughs> <laughs> My scripts are the best. That was huge, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's all right. That was that was like I half of our show We're, last time. I we don't did care it. about time. It was great. <laughs> oh yeah, well my show, you so, know, it's only an hour, no, Gary. Yeah, you know, no, but it would <laughs> be cool. And a half it would be cool to have yeah. these guys actually, you know, even if we. Show what was up, the man's name in Michigan? Or did he give away his name? I got his email address. Well, I just thank wrote you. him back and thank said you thank you very you much for yeah. listening. Yeah. I no, listen, listen. Thank you. Yeah. Even if they don't do it tonight because our time constraints, right. I can always meet them in Toronto field recorder. Yeah, have them sit down when it's your convenience. If you guys want to do, do a voiceover really quick, sure. we'll and do, then we we'll do, do that. We'll do whatever, whatever. But you know, we there actually are a few. Um, actually, it's funny because um, there are actually a, a couple of spokespersons we have right right now. So it might nice. actually be more interesting to have. That's them. fine. Who my, voice is not, <laughs> my voice you is s- not. My voice is not. Your voice sounds all right, right. bro. Do you Sounds have clips good. that are pre-recorded that you can send us? In a world. Right? Do you have anything? That's pretty good. <laughs> in a the world. land without time. <laughs> there you go. I'm digging it, dude. Did you, yeah, did man, you ever see it. that commercial, Gary? That was a which one was comedian. It? I'm not it was sure. A great I have. Com- it was a great commercial. You would love you it because TV, you know it, no, it was I all don't about turn it, on. it was all about a voice a voice actor just doing his thing. <laughs> yeah. He just basically goes a wall yeah. and oh, starts saying that. whatever he wants. Nice, yeah. right? It's nice. one of the best commercials because it's the funniest, right? I think yeah. I think Seinfeld wrote it actually. Is, there, is it on YouTube? Because it's if on you YouTube. Send me a link, oh, I'll, I'll check it out. I have to look YouTube. it up. Yeah, one of the best be commercials cool. yeah. you'll ever see. Honestly. But do you guys have any audio clips in you can world. send us? Well, actually, I have a whole bunch. Like we do. If you look, okay. Yeah, if, you should see if for some everybody, of their for everybody clips, listening, <laughs> for everybody listening, <laughs> they're cool. All of our guests have actually kindly sent us video bites. Okay. And and said, you know, hey, it's me. I'm coming to unplug the Blah 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 blah. Right. And you know what? It's that. So you want to talk about how you know we advertise without actually you know like our budgets are tight. Yeah, it's all about social media. It is, right? yeah. and a lot of YouTube people donate their huge. time. Well, yes. we we also I did that ad for you guys last time. Oh no, but that's you know as a sponsor, we yeah. we of course appreciate you know yeah, yeah. reality radio one hundred and one and the Dilmo yeah. Show. Um, Thank you. You know, we, we do. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. We moved yeah. worlds for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. That, Holy crap! That piano they, is in the wrong place. Hey, I gotta admit us. this though. You had you had yeah, uh, that was three or four or five people that that yeah. last year yeah. pay, paid right? Didn't yeah. they? Right? Yeah. They paid. I had um, I had at least. Eight, I think ten last year that paid. Yeah. So maybe we got yeah fifteen people extra, Ooh, you, know, you know, that we know yeah, of. Yeah, of Absolutely. course, right? Yeah, right? Well, I'm so. thinking this year what we should do is get something to tie in Reality Radio 101 and like have them say that when they come to the door. This way, you guys know as a demographic who's coming in. Because that of would the show. only you work know, the if they get a Razzi discount or something. Cool. Right? Ah, so what do you think, Gary? The puppet Razzi at the. Uh, that would be unplugged. great. It would be great. They, that would be great at the entrance if they can, because oh, that's a. Oh yeah. I'll tell you why. Put us at that's the front. That's supposed to be the red carpet thing when people are coming in. If you guys can do interviews, I have the red carpet. <laughs> oh, we could. Interviews. If you we guys could. could do interviews, yeah. Because I can see you interviewing the guests. <laughs> The and puppets? it would be like at the so- you know it would be like oh, an totally. at the socks yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick, stick you know we Done. did it we did it and yeah, you guys Done. can totally Wait, you guys can in. totally be like one t- double team the other we'll do it but right? they look so real right they do, and, they and, do. and, and, and the they bottom line is if you, you know? if you gave us maybe uh, we we know we have one booth for reality radio if you can give us two yeah that we can be right next to each other because it's cross promotion he's radio Absolutely. and puppets. Well, my poster is right in the front. What I'm saying is, James, you guys, it have to be. It would be better next to each other. Yeah. If we can that's talk about possibility. that a little bit later. Is that something we can yeah. we can make some we can make something happen. That's not but this problem. this this area is really big. Like how big are we talking? Like is it because I mean I've seen Fan about? Expo. I'm talking about the building itself. Because I mean like how oh, big it's is not, it? It's it's not as big as Fan, Fan Expo, obviously. Huge. No, Fan yeah. Expo's yeah. Uh, so yeah. this one is. Fan Expo's a, a, that, that's that's the. I'm just Toronto just to get an idea of how big. But we had such an amazing because spot last year. Oh, it was Because instead of doing what everybody did with the tables, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually were off in that corner that yeah. you guys allowed us to, and mm-hmm. you know why that worked out? Not only good for us, we did some. We had a setup where we were doing all kinds of interviews, video and audio. Yeah. And we had the room for people to sit down and relax or stand up. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of thing we would need if you're going to bring in a staging for the puppets. We couldn't just have where all the other vendors, like a straight table next to each other. We'd have to be off in the corner somewhere. That's the only thing. Because you're setting up a stage for the puppets, right? Did you say something funny? No. Somebody just walked in. (laughs) I'm I'm giving these guys this information. I hear it. it. (laughs) They're looking at me like, oh, my God. I thought my jokes were bad. All right. Well, it is time for the comedy clip because I'm looking at the time. I'm the only one focused here tonight. 
<laughs> Gary's <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> so you ready there, buddy? Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, the comedy clip of the week this week, I've played her before. Do you guys know of uh, Eliza Schle... You know how to say it better than I do. Eliza Schle- who? Schlesinger. I'm- Schlesinger. Oh, Schlesinger. Yeah. Schlesinger. Yeah. Have you ever heard of her? I've yes. Heard of her, yeah. All right. Well, she's talking about the snooch. Do you know what the snooch is? I'm going to find out. Aren't yes, I? you are. <laughs> 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 so you are about to listen to the comedy clip of the week. It is Eliza Schlesinger. Schlesinger. Thank you. And <laughs> she's talking about the snooch. You're listening to that on the Delmore Gato Show right here on... Real Radio, Radio 101. 101. Wow. Hi, this is Gordon Ellison, psychic medium and Chandler. You're listening to. Is that it? I guess not. Hold on. Maybe not. You're, you're much oh, there we go. Now we're back on. All right. Yeah. What happened there, Gary? You got another. Who's this? Uh, psychic? Who's this guy? Uh, that's uh, track number six on my CD, Gary. Come on, focus, you bastard. <laughs> well, you got something else coming up on six, so hold on. Uh, I don't know what the hell that was. That wasn't my CD. You yes, sure so. you got the right CD? No. <laughs> Girls, when you get there drunk, we go. who are you most likely to pick a fight with? Your boyfriend. Do you want to know why? Because you know he's not going to hit you back. <laughs> Every girl in here knows that your boyfriend will take a healthy dose of your drunk ranting. Why? Because at the end of the night, when you're all tuckered out, he's going to want to mouth kiss you and touch your snooch. That's why. <laughs> I hate to tell you, it's why they do everything. It's why they put up with your attitude. It's why they buy you expensive drinks. It's why they let you make them turn the game off so you can show them what you did on Pinterest, okay? (laughs) For snooches. Steve, come here, come look at this. No, like off, like turn it off. Don't, just like shut it off. I wanna show you something. Come here, come here, come here. (laughs) Look, look what I have, look what I pinned. Look at this. It's an entire wedding made of cheese. It can be our wedding. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> I call it a snooch, because I don't like the word vagina. No one says vagina. Like, no one says that. That's weird. No one here has ever been hooking up with someone and been like, this feels great. Continue to touch my vagina. <laughs> vagina. What, a vagina sounds like an Indian casino. This weekend at Vagina. <laughs> Wayne Newton at Vagina. <laughs> I made up snooch because it's so cute sounding. Snooch. Snooch. Maybe it would be like a cartoon character. Maybe it would be like a cute, tiny, furry, obviously, <laughs> character. It's got a little top hat. And maybe before you have sex, you have to summon Snooch so he can bless the whole thing. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You're having, you're about to have sex. You have to get out a snooch flute, which you have to pre-order to order them online. It's a, it's a dot gov site. And you pull it out. You're like, you ready to have sex? Sure. Let's, let's, let's summon snooch. Snooch. Hi, folks. Hi, snooch. We were just about to have sex. Do we have your blessing? Well, you surely do. It was nice meeting both of you, but I better be on my way. Snooch. <laughs> so cute. I made up snooch because I don't like the P word. I don't like saying it. It's not a lady word. <laughs> if I got to say it, there's going to be an involuntary facial spasm that comes with it. You should know that. I will ruin any sort of moment we have going in the bedroom. All right, babe, this is great. Tell me where you want me to put it. I'll say it, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> Come on, where do you want me to put it? Why don't you put it in my... <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> can't. Would you say nothing? I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Great. All right, come on, let's get back to it. All right, where do you want me to put it? Why don't you put it in my... <laughs> It's not a lady word. Ladies don't say that word. Like growing up, did your mom ever say, come to you in the shower? No, she didn't, right? No, and if she did, then your mom was white trash. <laughs> it's not a lady word. It's not a word that women hear independent of men. Most women don't hear that word like in professional ether. No woman's laying there at the gynecologist. Doctor walks in, he's like, what's up? <clears throat> How's it hanging? All right, let's see. 
pussy checks out, all right? <laughs> Great tits, by the way. Good hustle. Get out of here. guy word. I don't care that guys say it. Boys are gross and that's why we love them, okay? But that's a guy thing. That's what guys say in the locker rooms with, with, the, with all their grossness. I'd imagine they go to the locker room after a rousing game of touch softball and they talk about the P word. Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up? Did you get any, did you get any pussy last night? Yeah, a whole bucket. I don't know how you quantify it. <laughs> I don't know if it goes bucket, mug, ramekin. I don't know. That's what guys do in the locker rooms with the butt slaps and the sword fighting. That's what they do. We know about that. We know you do weird things with each other with your wieners because you do weird things with us and you're trying to impress us. So I can only imagine what creepiness goes on behind closed doors. Welcome back to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. And now back to your host, Del Morgado. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stage. We've got Candy. Hi. <laughs> Give it up for Candy. Hi. She'll be dancing from 10 o'clock till 10.15. Throw all your money at the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We've got here Mr. James Bade and Mr. Corrado Ritza. Thank you very much, guys, for once again being back on the show. Hope you guys had a well, great thank time. You, thank, thank you, uh, thank you, yeah. thank you, Gary. Yeah, for being oh, here. you're yeah. welcome. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. you. Well, I think yeah. I think we should give them the opportunity one more time. Absolutely. To give us all the information about Unplug Three, give us everything you got, guys, and let's yeah. uh, let's do it up for do a promotion. It. Look at these guys look at each other. Like, I know they're <laughs> like, "What the hell are we going to talk about?" <laughs> all right, start off with the basics. Unplug the date, Expo the three. time is that yeah. uh, is is at uh, is, is on September twenty seventh, twenty eighth, uh, downtown Toronto at the Chestnut Convention Center, there the Conference Center. Sorry, uh, eighty nine Chestnut Street, right behind City Hall. Awesome. And our headline guest this year is Johnny Young Bosch, along with two other Power Rangers who will be accompanying him, Jeff Perrazzo and Kevin Duhaney. Very nice. Uh, we'll also be having guest appearances by Barbara Radecki, who is Sailor Neptune. Um, <laughs> Sabri <laughs> Sabri <laughs> Sabrina Grevich, <Right. laughs> Grevich who is yes. uh, Sailor Pluto. Let's They're not all forget hot. the uh, After Dark. They're oh, all yes. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want to know more about this After Dark. There is thing. also there is a, also will there be some after dark? strippers like? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> well, we're hope we're hope we're hoping the red herring, herring will come back. Oh, uh, very nice. For, yes. um, I think it, Gary may remember the red herring. I do. Yes. Now let me ask you this: You guys at, at one a.m. That means you're not going to leave that venue too shortly after 1 a.m. Uh, I wish. Do you go home? <laughs> uh, I'll be there until 1.45. Do you, go home or do you partake in the hotel festivities? We do. Well, uh, no. Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're I, done at 10. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, we're no, you, know, you, know, you know, Gary, I think I, I wonder if uh, everybody in this room could relate. We're, no, yeah. we're, not, we're not 20. Anymore. No, we're not. No I mean, partying, honestly. but uh, yeah. you going to stay at the hotel? We're definitely going to stay at the hotel. Uh, you know, yeah, we, we nice. come, well, This yeah. year, we, we really have no choice. It's one of those things where we have to. Hey, I live like 20 minutes away from there, dude. Yeah, I don't well, need to still. stay at a hotel. No, but you could stay at a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> you stay at my place. It's clean. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I saw your cockroaches. You see his face? <laughs> I saw oh, no, your no, no, cockroaches. No, no, no. I'm yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> just quickly, guys, you guys want to give out any shout outs to anybody in particular at home? <laughs> Total dead silence. <laughs> no, no, no but how about some how about some information where we can go to find online? The there you go. Yes, about where Unplugged the websites. Well, that's you right. You guys can you guys can always check out the website www.unpluggedexpo.com. You, uh, you can check us out on Facebook at yeah. uh, fb.com slash unplugged expo. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash unplugged expo. God bless and you. We have. <laughs> We have a twi we have a Instagram account. We have a Pinterest account. All in our unplugged expo. So Very you nice. can you can go Very check nice. us out there. And uh, once and again, ladies and gentlemen, it is Unplugged Expo 3. That's correct. That's right. So you guys can go check it out. How'd you guys come up with that name, Unplugged? Unplugged? It's a very, very smart name, by the way. Well, you Unplugged. know, it, it, it means it means disconnecting to, yeah. you know, from, from what it is that from we, the norm. we want reality, to do. Yeah, right? from it's the so norm. Yeah. You know, it's not like reality radio word. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's all real. It's all real. It's all real. <laughs> we're disconnecting. Yeah, we're real here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing was, is last year we were doing Unplugged Expo, and yeah. we were trying to find a plug. 
put the phone. <laughs> and they had a hard time. They were like, oh, I don't know, where the, yeah. where's the electricity in this fucking place? Yeah. <laughs> Plugs everywhere. What are you talking That's about? <laughs> <laughs> well, but um, James and and Corrado, you have the same email addresses as last year. Uh, you yeah, know? yeah, yes, okay. that's the same. Yeah, because we uh, we obviously we want to be involved. We want to try to get our listeners involved that right. live in the GTA, sure. and we would like right. to up those ticket sales if we can. Yep. So we will be talking to you to try to uh, get that all together. Sure. And, awesome. Uh, see whatever you whatever and if there we are can any do giveaways you. you can hook us up with. Sure. We'd be more than happy to throw some contests. And Absolutely. Get some more people in the door. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Sweet. Yeah, I appreciate it. No, that. man, awesome. really. Anything yeah. we can do. Anything you want. Absolutely. I'm not even going to put a number on it. Anything you want, you tell that's me. That's right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. So if he says that, that's a good sign. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. So there Absolutely. you go. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is pretty much time to wrap her up. Uh, we've had a great show. We started a little bit late, but we did, we did go oh, the yeah, full hour did. and a half. Yeah. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for joining us, especially you two guys for being thank here you. again. Crado Ritza and James Bade. You guys can actually. Well, Corrado, you're not on Facebook. What's up with that, buddy? Nah, 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 when nah, the nah, hell nah. are you gonna, you know, never join the never. 20th first century? <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never. And of course, Mr. Nope. James Bade, you can contact on Facebook if you wish as well. He's there, so there you go. If you want to contact him directly, and yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, why not? We got to work on this after dark thing. We're gonna talk. Absolutely. Buddy. If yeah. you wanna, if you wanna, have I know. Yeah, I got some connections, <laughs> buddy. You know, I know some strippers that'd be willing to do some shit. <laughs> why are you gonna be like? Why are you gonna be like? Rubbing that, tugs. Yeah. Why are you gonna be like? Why are you gonna be like? The hell was that? Oh. <laughs> the room's coming to an end. <laughs> yeah. What the hell was that, Gary? Say was that? hello to my yeah, little no, friend. Was that supposed <laughs> to be a machine gun? Because I yeah, think yeah. I got something better here. <laughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, you best. <laughs> All right, guys. Great. Well, again, uh, say goodnight real quick. I know we're yeah. going to be doing the outro anyway, but just say goodnight to everybody at home, I guess. Well, goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody, you go. and see you at Unplugged. There you, go. there you go. I hope to see everybody at Unplugged Expo again. <laughs> Unplugged Expo is at www.unpluggedexpo.com. There you go. You get all the details, and if you want to get some passes, by all means. Absolutely. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Gary. Gary, Gary? it's time to roll Gary. it up. Oh, he's already rolling it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems all good things must come to an end. But my ass will be back next week. Same time, same channel. I'll be downloading the shows on my website, which is www.dfhstudios.com. Or you can check them out on YouTube. Type in DFH Studios one word and you will get them all. If you have any comments, suggestions, or topics for the show, email me at dfhstudios at hotmail.com. You can also join my Facebook page for funny pics and constant updates. Facebook.com slash dfhstudios. And I'm also on Twitter at Del Morgado Show. Once again, guys, www.unpluggedexpo.com. And you can also catch them on Facebook at facebook.com slash And Twitter. Unplugged Expo. There you go. <laughs> 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 All right, right on. <laughs> I want to thank the great and powerful the man behind the big giant glass, Mr. Gary Labar. Say goodnight to everybody at home, Gary Labar. Good night, Unplugged. Don't forget, <laughs> it's a weekend of awesome. <laughs> you, you're good. <laughs> I especially want to thank Mr. James Bade and Corrado Ritza for being on my show once again, guys. Thank you very much for being here and say goodnight to everybody at home. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Wow. There was a lot of life in there, guys. You can do better than that. Come on. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Hey, there we go. I especially want to thank each and every single damn one of you for listening and hope you tune in next week. You ready, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I want to wish you all a good night, baby! Yeah! My name is Del Morgado, and you've been listening to The Del Morgado Show right here on...